This is my baby, my best friend. Say hi. Hi, hi YouTube. Hi guys, it's Kaden. Today I'm doing a brand review on Glossier. And for those who don't know, it's a very natural brand, very trendy, very millennial. Um, before we get started, I really want to say thank you to anyone who tuned in to my first video and left comments. Not that many of you. <laughs> I would like to say thank you to Luchi O, my first subscriber, first comment. It made me really happy. You said some of the most beautiful things and it really made me genuinely happy. So I was really glad that you wanted me to review Glossier because I already had all of the stuff. I was ready for this. So without further ado, here is $445 worth of Glossier. First product is the Priming Moisturizer Rich and I already applied some of this earlier this morning. I knew I was gonna be filming this so I kinda just wanted to put some on but I'm gonna apply a little more for the sake of this video. I'm giving you my honest thoughts. I am not a huge fan of this lavender fragrance. It's a really, really heavily fragranced product and emphasis on the really. <laughs> lavender fragrance is a really prominent ingredient in this product and I really wasn't expecting it. I probably should have looked over the ingredients before purchasing this, but um, as for the way it feels, it does feel very nice, very creamy very luxurious if you have a dry skin type like mine. I cannot recommend this to you or to anyone because I'm just not a believer in fragrance in skincare and I know that skincare is so so personal and fragrance is something that can really mess with a lot of people, it can cause irritation, redness, breakouts, and it's just a super unnecessary ingredient and I really wish they left it out of this product. So this does have hyaluronic acid and ceramides and some other really great ingredients, but it kind of falls flat with the fragrance for me. But for the purpose of this video, I put it on today and we're gonna use it as a primer. So now I'm gonna use the skin tint and I got the shade G10. They have a lot of different, well, they don't have a lot of shades, they could actually work on that, but I'm gonna shake this up because it's very, very liquidy. So I have been using this and I do really enjoy this one. And I do love these little paint tube bottles. They're so cute. And I feel like I'm in middle school art class and that's a very happy time. Let me just apply it and I'll get into it. And if anyone's wondering, I am wearing the Rare Beauty Lip Balm in Honor. Um, that's all I got on my face, but I'm gonna wipe it off. Cause I get kind of messy when I apply my foundation. And we are gonna do like a true glossy girl with do, and we're gonna go in with our fingers. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this, but there is no coverage to this skin tint. It looks very pretty, very glowy. It's a wonderful, wonderful tinted moisturizer type of finish. The coverage is definitely less than what your tinted moisturizer is gonna be. I do think anyone can wear this. I feel like no matter what condition your skin is in, this will make you look better. You can wear it if you have acne or hyperpigmentation. I only say that because I've seen a few reviews kind of saying if your skin is less than perfect you should avoid this one. I feel like you don't need to cover up every single blemish or imperfection to be looking your best or be feeling beautiful. Um, this will make you glowy and healthy looking and I would recommend this to anybody. Another thing about this um, you can completely see your skin through 
this. I feel like there's so much of your natural skin that shows through this. It doesn't really matter if you're a few shades off. It's almost like transparent, but I think it's a good thing. It's a very, very pretty finish. So now I'm gonna go in with some stretch concealer and this is in the shade G11. G11. So again, they tell you to use your finger. I'm not a huge fan of that, but we're gonna give it a shot. This concealer is very, very emollient. I am unsure about those with oily skin if you're gonna like this. This stretch concealer is one of the most natural kind of finishes I've ever used in a concealer. When you use your finger, I feel like it actually blends into the skin very, very nicely. It kind of melts and this definitely leaves you with an undetectable finish on the skin. I would not recommend this one to anyone who wants a more full coverage look, but um, for no makeup makeup days, this is gonna be your girl and I have been using it that way and I've been loving it. So now we're gonna do my favorite, favorite product from the lineup. If I didn't say this, I have been using most of these. This is the Wouter in G11 to G12. And I just like to set the places where I need it. So I cannot say enough good things about this. This is so beautiful. I am in love with it. This has replaced my Chanel. I feel like this is one of the best ones for dry skin. This is so undetectable on the skin. There's no powdery finish. I don't know, I feel like I'm not wearing anything. And I feel like you can still see a lot of shine through this. I don't make my powders or whatever, so this for me is the standout product of the whole line, and I would recommend this to anyone who does not want that powdery kind of like effect to your makeup, but like your makeup just still looks set and in place and like bomb. This is so good. Now we're gonna do some eyeshadow and I got two of the Skywash. This is Echo and this is Pebble. And this is the Lid Star in Cub. So Pebble is a nice neutral. And Echo is Echo is brown. These two are both matte. And this is what I'm gonna be using today. This is the Lid Star in Cub. So I am actually not a big fan of Echo. It's a really pretty brown shade. Um, that's why I was drawn to it, but it applies so patchy, I'm not even going to put it on my eye. It was very disappointing, very messy, and just not how you want your eyes to look. And this one just doesn't really show up on my eye, like, at all. Unfortunately, not a huge fan of this either. While the formula is much better, I am not a fan of the color. It's so neutral on my skin tone. It could almost work as an eyeshadow primer. It didn't really give me the pop of color effect I wanted. I do think that if you have a darker skin tone, it would look beautiful on you, like a nice pink. I am, however, gonna use Lid Star on my eyes. This one is very pretty. Okay, so this is beautiful and I almost forgot how much I love and adore the shade. Perfect rose gold shimmer, and it really blends into your skin, blends into your eyelid. Super natural, super pretty, and I am gonna recommend this one to you. I would probably tell you to pass on the sky wash. It's just kind of a fuss for me, and I'm not a huge fan of the formula. If you want a really easy eyeshadow, I would go for this one. So I just went and applied a little bit of eyeliner off camera. Um, it's not Glossier. Their eyeliner just didn't really look like my thing. I'm pretty picky about my eyeliner, so I just didn't even touch that one. I assume that you've heard of the boy brow or that you would like to see the boy brow applied to my very thin little eyebrows. Here we go. Just kidding, I got the brow flick, so hang on. We're doing the brow flick first and then the boy brow. I got the black shade and the brown. We're gonna do the brown. And I have been storing these upside down because that's what they say to do. And I'll tell you right off the bat, this is not my favorite application method for an eyebrow. So 
So this is one brow. It's very natural. So this is what the brow flick looks like. All put together. This is a very subtle, natural marker. And if I were to use a marker, I would use this one. I have not been reaching for this because I am not a fan of the marker application. It's very odd to me and not for me. But if you like markers, you should go out and get this. Now for the moment that you've been waiting for, the boy brow. So we're going with the brown shade and I love this. Gonna let you know right now, it deserves all the hype, honestly. This product keeps your eyebrows in place all day, like no movement whatsoever. I do wish that they had a few more brown shades. Um, not my favorite shade, but I do like this product. On days when I don't want to do anything except I need my brows done, I just put this on and I feel 10 times prettier. I love products that are easy to apply, easy to use, you don't have to be a makeup artist to do it, and it definitely makes you look better. I'm going to apply a little bit of contour off camera, contour slash bronzer. I know Glossier does not have a bronzer product, which is very, very odd to me. We are just going to have to make do with some Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. So now we're going to do some blush. I know these are so popular. So these little guys are the Glossier Cloud Paint. Paints. Plural. And we're going to swatch. So this one is Storm. So this is much darker than I thought it was going to be. Um... It's still very pretty on the face. This one is kind of like a magenta berry kind of shade. This is kind of a reddish brown. I think I'm going to go in with Storm. I almost forgot the name. So I'm a little annoyed. I accidentally wiped off the swatches and I totally could have just dabbed some with my finger because this stuff is so pigmented. It's very blendable. So don't be afraid. I'm just using the smallest dot and I always like blush on my nose. I feel so much cuter and I feel like this also makes your makeup look so much more natural. So I might have applied a little too much of this product. I tend to do that with cream blushes. I am definitely a blush junkie. Don't judge my kind of clowny. It does not look clowny. I definitely love the shade. I definitely love the formula. And I love these. They look great on your eyelid, great on your lips. Another thing about these cloud paints, I saw online that pretty much all the shades worked for all complexions. I think that's amazing, revolutionary, that someone my complexion and someone deeper can wear the same blush. I'm happy that we're at this point in society where we can all wear the same blush. I really respect that, and I think Glossy did a great job. I also got two of the highlighters. So we have the Halo Scope and Quartz. I have not used this and the night shine in pale pearl i'm gonna start with the halo scope and it's gonna be like a stick highlighter and this is not applying very smoothly i'm gonna try to go with my finger this feels so freaking dry Ugh. it kind of So I tried to blend this out with my finger. Um, this feels so dry on my face. I feel like it moved around my makeup and my powder. I'm not a fan of this. I feel like when I tried to blend it out with my finger, it all kind of disappeared. Now I'm gonna go in with the night shine. Oh yeah. Do you see that? 
how it just kind of melts into my face. Even like on top of my powder, um, my powder, it sits so beautifully on top of this. So this one is a winner. This is a standout. This one is an A++. This halo scope thing, you do not need this. I would not recommend it and I would totally tell you to pass on this. So I have lip balm on. I'm going to wipe it off. We're going to do some lip product. So I'm going to start these lip swatches with the lip gloss. And I got the clear one and the red one, starting with the clear. So I have been using this quite a bit. This is a great natural lip gloss. There's no shine, no sparkle. I feel like I look dewy. I feel like my lips look very healthy, very shiny. It's not like overpowering, it's just very subtle, very nice shine. For the price, I'm not going to complain, but it's a little bit sticky. Um, ooh! So here's the red lip gloss. I love it, and one of my favorite lip glosses I've ever purchased in my life. So same formula, kind of sticky. I believe the price is the same, $14. I love this color so much. I love the tiniest hint of red on my lips. And that's exactly what this product delivers. This gives you the most subtle, natural shine and tint. I am a huge, huge fan of this. I use it every day. And I do not like wiping this one off, but I am gonna have to. I also got three of the Bomb.coms. I'm gonna start with the mango one. It looks kind of pinky, but it doesn't really show up on my lips. Um, this one tastes and smells so delicious. And now I'm gonna go on with cherry. Let me just say, this smells disgusting. Um, probably like my favorite tint on my lips. Beautiful color, nasty smell, nasty taste but I still use it. So this is how the cherry one looks on my lips. I do wish you could smell this or taste this because it's pretty gross. I probably am not gonna repurchase this. Honestly, this smells so bad, but if you only apply a little, you can kind of get away with it without wanting to gag all day. <laughs> oh, it tastes awful. So this is the Berry Bomb.com. Here is the Fairy Bomb.com on my lips. This is my favorite. I use this quite a bit. Best smell, best lip tint, and I definitely recommend the Fairy one. I would probably tell those of you who have working noses to pass on this cherry one. <laughs> That's kind of mean. It tastes awful to me. They gotta reformulate this cherry scent, taste, whatever. And this is a fantastic clear lip balm. I kind of wish it had a tint that showed up on my lips, but if you like the taste of mango, then I would go for this. So now I'm doing the Generation G Matte Lipsticks. And for those who do not know, these are fantastic lipsticks. They give a sheer, blotted, matte wash of color. So I'm starting with the lightest shade in the bunch. This is Like. This one is my My Lips Fit Better shade. It's also the sheerest one of the bunch. I'm gonna move on. Beautiful, beautiful color. Now I'm gonna do Zip, and this one is a really nice warm red tint. So I love this shade. I use it all the time. I love the way this formula applies. It's so effortless for all of them, actually. I definitely recommend this as well. Moving on, this one is Crush. This is a really gorgeous raspberry shade. I love this, I adore this. I use it with or without makeup. So here's Crush, beautiful, beautiful color. I am in love with this shade. 
definitely give it a shot. Last shade, last product. This is Jam. A very dark blackberry kind of shade in the tube. So as you can see, there's nothing to be afraid of. I feel like you can kind of wear this like a stain or you can build it up. I think all of the Gen G's would look amazing on all skin tones. You really can kind of customize the color. So that was $445 worth of glossy makeup. I am a big fan of this brand and I'm very happy I had the opportunity to review it. Thank you for watching me and I will see you in my next video. The second half was great. No, we're not sitting here four hours. Do you want to try some lip balm? Nope. You used it last night. You know you're lying for the camera. Good, 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 good. Nice try. There's not even like any sparkles to it, so. You are just being insecure. So, oh my god, there's powder black. <laughs> it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Just one person, a I even put it on my boyfriend once. I did. And y'all said at. No, you didn't. Don't try to pin the location to a memory to make Do you not remember anymore. before? I don't. I don't. You're already saying, see, that's me now. No, oh, I'm telling you. Because no, I see what you're doing. No, not. It's, it's psychology. Cut the video. Before we picked up those movies, and I put it on you, we were at Gals since you got cash. You coming up wild. You're, you're so, such a liar. Yeah, you're okay. so good at coming up with stuff on the spot. Um, moving on. That's your favorite. Seriously? I hope that you guys. I felt like my last thing was fine. Still, still gotta... Okay, here we go. Just stop talking. Hang on. Like it's my fault. <laughs>